Hello. Happy 4th of July. Little flag. Don't really know what to post as a video, so I'm just uh, saying happy 4th of July. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, got Captain America, you know, he's, yeah, that guy. I got Spider-Man, Iron Man. There's Captain America right there. Even though he's a Marvel zombie, but it's still Captain America technically. Then we got the Transformers guys. That's kind of like, you know, stuff. And uh, yeah, um, this is kind of going to be like a Happy Fourth of July video slash uh, review review of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Um, overall, I enjoyed it. Actually, I it was a solid. Indiana Jones movie adventure, okay? Uh, when I went to the theater, I also managed to snag the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny popcorn tin, okay? It's pretty sick. It's like a, looks like it's just a relic that he'd find in a cave somewhere. Unfortunately, they did not have the cup with the Indiana Jones hat as the lid. Now, that would have been cool, okay? But, yeah, you know. Unfortunately, they did not have it. My friend went there the other day, and uh, they had him before I went. So, that kind of sucks. But, yeah. It's a solid, solid movie. I really enjoyed it. I, I even liked the Chris Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I even thought that was pretty good. So, you know. Sure, the movie's not for everybody. This is going to be kind of a spoiler review, okay? So, just, you know, keep that in mind, I guess. I also got this Indiana Jones. It's not really an Indiana Jones hat, but it's the only hat I really have that resembles an Indiana Jones hat. So, it's like, I gotta wear it, you know. I have to. I got it. So, overall, pretty good. It starts off in young Indiana Jones. So, they, like, do a deep fake thing, make him look younger. Harrison Ford. And he's fighting Nazis. It's really, I like that part. That was one of my favorite parts in the movie. Just fighting him as young Indiana Jones, classic Indiana Jones adventure. He's just doing all the crazy Indiana Jones shenanigans. Going through the train. Killing Nazis. And then Mads Mikkelsen plays the main bad guy. That was cool. He's uh, like a scientist that's looking for artifacts. Then he finds the dial of Archimedes. I'm pretty sure that was what it was. So, um, he's doing good stuff with it he's, he's being crazy trying to get that down trying to convince his Nazi commanders that this is more important than the other artifacts because it control time but it's only half the dial Indiana Jones adventures continue shenanigans charades and flash forward um, the, the bad guy almost gets the dial but then Indiana Jones like well, he gets hit by in the face by like a, a train thing Indiana Jones secures it, and we're all good. And like some some time later, <coughs> excuse me, some time later, Indiana Jones is an old man. Okay, um, Marion left him. Okay, gone, and she didn't want nothing to do with him. And then his son Mutt, the guy played by Shia LaBeouf, he's dead. He died in Vietnam. That's how they get rid of his character. I was thinking that is crazy. Okay, crazy. Absolutely. Um, what else? So, after they do that, after he flash forward to that, he's still a professor, and he's doing professor stuff. Uh, bad guys want to try to find the dial. Uh, the, the, the same guy, the Mads Mikkelsen's villain guy, is, is come, he's still around. He didn't die. You know, it looked like he did, kind of. I mean, anyone probably would have died from what happened to him. But, no, he's fine. Okay. Comes back, looking for the dial. Has some henchmen. Has this big, like, German dude who's freaking massive. They start killing some of the teachers. Gets Indiana Jones involved after he finds out his goddaughter. And then it's like, they go on this crazy adventure. They find, I think, they find one of the pieces of the dial. And then they got to find the other piece of the dial. Going to cre and I'm just really shortening it down, not being very specific with everything I'm saying. I real I understand that 
and I'm not necessarily trying to be super specific, but it's like just it's a good movie. It's an overall good Indiana Jones movie. I can see the goddaughter character was kind of annoying, kind of, right? In my opinion, maybe not everyone else's, but seeing her support back in action, doing his, doing some stunts again, that was cool. Okay, that was really cool. Um, what else? Um, towards the end of the movie, uh, let's see, oh, some of the other characters come in, like that one dude with the, from the, I think, the last crusade, what's his face, that helped Indy in the desert, that guy, I forget his name, but he was in there, that was really cool, uh, later on in the movie, they find both the pieces of the dial, Mads Mikkelsen's villain character, and, uh, they take a plane, and they reveal them, their Nazi uniforms, they bring the Nazi uniforms back, and they're taking the plane because they're thinking they're going to go back in like the 1900s to go like destroy, kill Hitler before he does something and like prove that he's the, the Reich or the, the Fuhrer or whatever, you know, or be the Fuhrer or something. So then they go in, in into the sky with Indiana Jones and his goddaughter sneaks aboard. They have the dial pieces. They're flying through the sky. They, they use it, the dial, to find a rift. And in, in the time, they go through the rift. And behind them is the friend who stole the plane. He's just following them to try to save, um, I must have said Obi-Wan, <laughs> to save Indiana Jones, okay? So they go through the rift, and then they're in, you would think, the 1900s, like 1930, whatever, whatever time it was, right? But no, they're actually in, in 2000 BC. 2000 BC, they're just crazy. They go all the way back in time to that point, and... All these Romans and all these other guys are like, whoa, dragons? Oh my god, it's dra we gotta kill these dragons. What the hell? What's going on? So then they shoot giant spears into the ship, or into the plane, and it's crazy. It's cool. I like it a lot. I really do. It's a good movie. Solid movie. Yeah. And then, later on, uh, Indiana Jones wants to stay in 2000 BC. But as Goddaughter knocks him out, takes him back to the present, uh, everything's fine and dandy. Uh, then Indiana Jones wakes up, and then Marion comes back, and she's old, he's old, and they do a little callback to, I think it was the first movie. She was like kissing his elbow, and he kissed her elbow. It was pretty cool. And then the movie ends on Happily Ever After, his hat's hanging up on something, and someone grabs it, and then it cuts to black, and then, da -na -na -na, and you know, the, clear, the, the, the music kicks in, it's pretty cool. Overall, it was good. I recommend. But, um, I also did see Transformers, Spider-Man, and The Flash. So maybe I'll do something about those two. Or just reference that I saw them. And then, uh, oh, I did manage to get the Flash popcorn tin. The Flash. As well as the, uh, the Flash cup. That lights up. <sighs> There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. That really is. However, it's kind of a pain to wash because it's using electronics and cups and electronics don't really mix well together. So it's kind of like, eh. I also got this Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse popcorn bucket. This I really like. This is really cool. All right, it's really good. It's really nice. A lot of popcorn you can put in there. And I kind of rate these on a 1 to 10 in popcorn scale levels, right? For instance, this thing really solid for popcorn okay you can put a lot of popcorn in there 10 out of 10 popcorn bucket really good the indiana jones one a good solid like 9 out of 10 it's a good popcorn bucket it could be a little bit bigger in my opinion but I, that's it's pretty good i also have the guardians of the galaxy popcorn bucket with the groot on it i did see that pretty solid movie really liked it really good solid op, uh, movie from james gunn and so on for marvel I, I enjoy all the movies, Frank. Honestly, I a lot of people don't like you know a lot of these new Marvel movies. I thought they're all right, you know they're they're okay, they're decent, they're enjoyable movie experience. For you know whatever, got that. That's cool. Um, but yeah, that's a good that's a that's a solid like nine out of ten as well. It's pretty good, pretty spacious for the popcorn bucket. I also have this Ant Man one, and yes, it it technically it's a popcorn bucket, right? It pops open. There we go. See, pop, pop, pops open. It even lights up. See, I'll turn it on. See, bam. 
lights up. It's pretty cool. It's a good commemorative piece to just place around. But, like, oh my gosh, turn off. Um, in terms of popcorn bucketness, it's all right. You know, it could be better. I give it a like a five out of ten for popcorn bucket ratings, but for a collective piece, it's very good. I also just so happen to have the um, the Battenson uh, cowl bucket helmet. Yeah, see, holds popcorn just the same. It doesn't light up, but you can see it through the eyes if you end up putting popcorn through there. So, yeah, I'd still give it a maybe a six. It looks a little better. It's easier to clean as well because, you know, electronics and buttery and stuff. It doesn't really mix too well like for the Ant-Man one. So that's good. I'll take it, you know. I also have uh, a couple Batmobiles. I got the Arkham uh, video, Arkham Knight Batmobile. I got the Batman movie Batmobile. This guy's one. And I got the animated series Batmobile. I also have the Adam West Batmobile and a couple other Batmobiles that I cannot find at the moment. But, yeah. Oh, I also have the... Thor hammer popcorn bucket. All right, this one's really cool. I really like this one. It's really cool looking. It's uh, decorative. It's very, very decorative. Let's move some out of the way so I don't step on it. Um, really solid. Okay, it does open. It's a little clunky, you know, because it's got this thing on it. But uh, see, it's all right. It holds a decent amount. I got that last year when I saw Thor: Love and Thunder in theaters. So it was really cool that they had that. A very like very solid right decorative decoration wise popcorn bucket rating wise it's like a 6.5 right it doesn't hold a whole lot of popcorn it's more I think for looks right or if you really want to get the theme of a movie that's fine you know no worse also got the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania cup I real now this now th this is kind of the same uh, rating wise for like popcorn bucket rating wise this is like the drink cup rating ones, or drink cup rating, right? This is a 10, 10 cup. Like, love these big, fat cups. They just, you can pour, like, two gallons of fucking anything in there, right? Really good stuff. Really solid. Okay. Really solid. I also got the Fast X one. I uh, didn't see it yet, but I want to. Fast X. It's kind of weird. They left a blank space here. You know, it looks like they could have put someone there, but... Guess they just didn't want to. You know, all these guys here, you got Aquaman, Groot, uh, and then just an empty space with nobody there, absolutely at all. Oh, and then Captain Marvel, and then uh, other guys. It's that one guy from Transformers. And uh, yeah, it's a crazy conundrum, I say. But the only way to get those was to buy a like $30 thing. And you got two of them, but I only wanted one of them. And I didn't want to spend $30, but. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, I guess. I also got this thing from Spider. It's not, I didn't get this, I got this a long time ago, but you know, and because I was talking about the Spider Man movie a little bit, uh, which was pretty good, I think. I'm excited for the, the second one. I hope they introduce more Spider Man. Uh, Spider Gwen here was uh, pretty cool, you know, it kind of works out with it. It's pretty sick. So, I also got the uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever uh, cup. They didn't give me a straw, so that kind of sucks, you know. You probably can't read it, but it's backwards, but, you know, still, yeah. And then, uh, last year, when the Batman came out, I also got the Totem, or not Totem, but the, this Batman Batcave one, uh, cup. This is cool. This is one of my favorite cups. Like, I love this thing. Look at that. That's crazy. Batman, Batmobile. Can't wait for the next Batman movie coming out. Probably gonna have some crazy merchandise. I love this stuff, all right? Personally, I'm a collector. I love it. It's really cool. And... Really just, like, touches your, the, the fan part of yourself. But at the same time, I'm trying not to obsess over them, you know, because I want to get all of these. But it's expensive, and it's a lot of uh, time investment, and trying to get there in time to, you know, get everything before it's sold out. So it's kind of like, you know. I also managed to grab the John Wick popcorn bucket. Now this thing, cool, man, look at that. But it was a it was a, a special like combo, so not only did you get the popcorn bucket, we hunt the truth, and then it says, uh, and we endure the consequences. Okay, so John Wick on all sides. There are two sides, and you got decals, and it's crazy. 
you also get some really cool collectible John Wick Chapter 4 coins. Two of the, okay, so two of those coins came from this movie collection right here. Really good find. Really good find. Yes. I think I, I think I messed up the transition there. It's all good. I think it's fine. Yeah. But now I can edit it in anyway. So, yeah. Um, really solid picks. Really good stuff. I tell you what. So, yeah. I think that's, uh, oh, Transformers. I didn't get anything for Transformers. Uh, they had a Optimus Prime head. There's fireworks going off in the background, by the way. Uh, had an Optimus Prime head. Didn't get that because they didn't have it, and I don't really want to buy it online. Right? I, I have to do it in store if possible. At most, worst, I'd buy it online for double the price. Okay. It's all right. It's fine. That doesn't bother me. Um, but it was a good movie. Really liked that movie. Really liked the new Transformers Age of not, not Age of Extinction. The new Transformers Rise of the Beast. Really cool to see the Maximals there. Really cool to see like Unicron and all that stuff. Uh, really good. Really solid. Uh, and apparently, at the very end of the movie, spoilers, 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 okay. I thought it was going to be Sector 7 that was coming out and saying, hey, join our team. But it turns out it was the G.I. Joe organization. Wasn't expecting that. That's crazy. John Wick 4. Good movie. Check it out. Also check out every other movie I've said in this review. Kind of weird, not even really a review, just thing, video. Check them out. They're really solid. So anyway, I think I've been rambling on for long enough. Uh, happy 4th of July. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you all have a wonderful and lovely afternoon and an excellent firework-filled night. Thank you very much. I'll see you all in the next video. Last year, when I posted a video, it was a Call of Duty video. That was cool, but it's already been a year. That's crazy. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you.